because of our union with Christ, we are in a we have a kind of deep spiritual conflict that that is that that is in our beings that is kind of central to our beings. Uh, Christ died on the cross for our sin and was raised from the dead, and we're in union with that work of His. But it has created problems for us in a, in, a, in the sense that now we're involved in his, in God's conflict with the world, uh, with sin, with the devil, and it, it it's in our being. So Paul um, has uh, especially helped to identify aspects of this or the Holy Spirit through Paul by uh, describing Christians as a new creation, and and talking about uh, the fact that uh, we have a uh, there, that the flesh in the Christian fights against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And, and Paul says that the old self and the new self are uh, a part of the Christian's experience now. Uh, all of this is because of our union with Christ, but it leads us to have this, this, these, this two um, sides of our experience. One of them that comes from God that's good and and uh, is, is who we are uh, in Christ and who we are becoming more and more fully. But at the same time, we have uh, the, the remnants or the remains of our old way of life that, that will be with us as long as we're on earth. Well, Christian counseling, biblical counseling, Christian therapy all are ideally work with this, this two-sided quality. And so one of the things that, that, that I think that we want to help Christian counselees with is being able to identify uh, the, 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 these forces that are at work. The, they're good creation structures that are built into us, all of us, uh, from really from conception. Uh, God has given all of us gifts, strengths, abilities that we would have, whether we were Christian or not. These are created gifts of God that, that he's given us. And he has redeemed uh, that um, in Christ so that we also have all the blessings of being in union with Christ. That's our new self. And God wants us to make much of that, to build that, to strengthen it, to grow in, in that so that our new self has increasing influence in our lives. But we still have all this set of, of memories, associations, feelings, thoughts, ways of relating to people that we grew up with before we became a Christian and that to some degree we still continue to reinforce as we practice the old ways of, of uh, our life outside of Christ. And so wh what we're wanting to do is to help Christians be able to identify the influence of the old self, the flesh, our indwelling sin, and put to death the sin, but then also redeem those aspects of us that were damaged because of the fall, because of sin, because of growing up in a fallen world, because of growing up with fallen parents who sinned against us to some degree, who, who were less than perfect, and, and uh, that has shaped us to some degree, that has damaged us. But, but the damage we don't want to put to death, the damaged creation we want to redeem. We want to bring it to uh, to the Lord and to surrender to him, have him heal it as much as possible in this life, knowing that we will be healed fully in heaven. So um, I consider that all of that to be an important part of, of the Christian soul healing journey.